Hi friends, it's James and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we're going to be looking at how we can get our bot to display a status message just like this here. We're also going to be going over how we can change what the online presence, the online status of our bot is. So whether it's online or whether it's idle, do not disturb or invisible. So we're going to be covering that all in today's video. So without further ado, let's just jump in. Just one quick thing though before we actually start programming, I just want to quickly say that I've got a Discord server. So if you've got any problems when programming your bot, uh, feel free to join and ask away. We'd love to help you. Or just join anyway, even if you don't have any problems, we'd love to have you. But anyway, let's jump into the coding. So then, to do this status, it doesn't actually require much coding. All it basically is, is one simple line. And for that simple line, we're going to add it with inside of this onReady function. And as I'm sure you already know, this onReady function has to exist in the main part of your Python file for your bot. Otherwise, your bot will not run. So then, let's, let's add this status message. So to do this, we could do this. We can create a new line and we could type await, then client dot change underscore presence, open and close brackets. Then we can say status is equal to discord dot status dot online. Actually, no, let's go idle because your bot defaults to online if you don't set a status. So to just to show you that it works, let's set it, let's tell it to set itself to the idle status. And now let me quickly explain what this does. So we're calling the change presence part of the Discord package, the Discord PY package. And we're then, we're then specifying that we want to set the status of the bot to idle. And you can set this status to the other ones that Discord offer. So do not disturb, online or invisible. So let's say you wanted to set it to online, you could do like that. But if you wanted to set your bot to online, then there's no point really in writing that line or writing this part of the line because your bot will default to the online status anyway. So then, let me show you what the idle does. So let's run it and head to Discord. And look, you can see that our bot has now been set to idle. And that's exactly what we want. So we've now looked at how we can set the presence of our bot. So whether it's online, idle, do not disturb or invisible. But now let's actually get it so we can display a message, a bio, a status message if you see what I'm saying. So let me show you how to do this. So after this status.idle that we just did, let's add a comma and let's type activity is equal to discord.game, open and close brackets, single quotes, and then you can write whatever text you want your bot status message to be. So I'm just gonna type, there we go. The discord.game part of this line. This basically is that text that you have before any messages. So let's say you're playing a game. Uh, it would say playing and then the game's name. Or maybe you're streaming something to Twitch. It'd say streaming and then the game. You see what I'm saying? So like, or like another example, maybe you're listening to something on Spotify. And in the bio, in the status, it would say listening and then to the song you're listening to. So you see what I'm saying? So this discord.game, this means that we're, we're essentially saying to give it the playing message, the playing pre-message, if that makes sense. And then the message, so the game in this case, is basically the text inside this bracket, which in my case, I've just written subscribe. I hope that makes sense in what I'm explaining. I think it will make more sense when I run the code. So let's do this and let's head to Discord. So look, you can see here that our bot is an idle because that's what we said it is. And it's got a status message of playing and then the text we type. So in my case, subscribe. So at discord.game part of the code, this is what I was referring to in terms of the bits before the text. So playing. 
So, as I said, the example, let's say you're listening to music. This would say listening and then the song's name. I hope that now clears up what I was saying. So the discord.game part of it is this text bit before, and the actual bit inside of the brackets is what comes after this. But going back to the example of listening, maybe you want it to say listening to something. How would you do this? Let me show you. So you would want to remove this bit here, and then you'd want to type activity, and an open and close brackets, just like that. And then inside of here, we want to type, type Type is equal to discord dot activity type dot listening comma name is equal to and then the text you want to say. So let's say there we go. So now this will set our bots to the listening pre-message and then with the text of my YouTube videos. So let me show you this in practice. And look, you can see here that it's changed it to listening to and then the text we said. I really hope that makes sense in what I'm explaining, in what this pretext is and what the actual text is in relation to the status message. So to just to clarify again, you have to have this pre-message. So either like listening to or playing or streaming, you have to have that. And then you can put whatever text you want after it. But the last one I want to go over is streaming, as I think this is pretty cool as a status message for a bot. So let me show you the code for it and then let me show you what it does. So then, we want to remove this bit here, and we want to replace it with this. We want to say, activity is equal to discord.streaming, open and close brackets, and then we want to say, name is equal to, and then the text. And as you're streaming something, you're normally streaming a game. So let's just say you're streaming Minecraft, or your bot is streaming Minecraft. So we're going to give it the name that. And now we can specify a URL, and this is where it gets pretty cool. So we to do this, we type URL is equal to, and then single quotes, and then you want to type in the name of the URL. So let's just type HTTPS, uh, I don't know, twitch.tv, I don't know, let's just redirect it to there. But in practice, if you were streaming, you put slash and then the name of your Twitch channel. So I don't know, like, I don't know, Mr. Beast, you get the idea. Uh, you see what I'm saying. However, one thing I just want to quickly reiterate, you have to put the, the username or the link to the video after the URL here, like I've just done here. I've just taken Jack Manifold's um, you, uh, Twitch link. So, if we head to Discord, you can see here now that our bot has got the streaming message. And if we click it, we can actually click to watch his video. And I believe that you actually have to be streaming on Twitch for this to appear. But that now brings us to the end of this video. I hope you found it useful and I hope you've understood everything that I've spoken about. Please consider giving this video a like as it would really help it out in the YouTube algorithm. And while you're down there, please do consider subscribing. But anyway, I'll catch you all in the next video. See ya!